Christy, look at me. I want you to remember something. Because a lot of times people get nice things and they start to think differently. We got here from hard work, patience, and humility. So I want to tell you, don't ever think that the world owes you anything. Because it doesn't. The world doesn't owe you a thing. I was valedictorian in high school. I got into a fancy college. I stay in here because my parents are getting divorced. No! You know what you are, Terry? You're like a gas leak. We don't see you, we don't smell you, but you're silently killing us all. Maybe your dreams are on hold for now. That's a nice way of putting it. You're so beautiful. You could have married anybody. You could have married a doctor, a lawyer, a nice man instead of this. I don't even know what to call this guy. Are you seriously talking about this right now? I believe the ordinary meets the extraordinary every single day. I have real ambitions and real ideas. We're making an invention, and it's very serious. Joy's never run a business in her entire life. It's my fault. I gave her the confidence to think she was more than just an unemployed housewife. I don't want to end up like my family. I have to do things myself once and for all. Okay, Godspeed. Good luck. Here we go. As you grow up and come into the world that has all sorts of things in it, money, crime, betrayal, it seems like you're shaking us down. You can pay more. I can't, and I won't. And you realize that the only thing you're gonna have is what you make. You are in a room, and there is a gun on the table. I want my life to be. The only other person in the room is an adversary in commerce. Only one of you can prevail. Do you pick up the gun, Troy? I pick up the gun. Listen to me. Never speak on my behalf about my business again. To love somebody to love somebody the way I love you.